Dear trolls, keyboard warriors, haters, dear bullies, this video is something you need to watch and something you need to listen to. Something you need to remember before you hit that enter button, before you click send, before you cause irreversible harm, before you cause damage to the human being you're about to send that abusive message to. That one button may be the one thing that stands between life and death for someone. That enter button has the power to kill. And I should know, because it nearly killed me too. It takes one person, one tweet, one comment, one message, one post to cause unimaginable pain. Pain that doesn't just fade. Pain and hurt that can never be undone no matter how, how hard people try. Everybody has limits on how much they can take and no one is immune to that. People get hurt. That does not mean they are oversensitive. Nobody at all ever have to deal with trolls, hate, abuse, bullies. It's literal emotional abuse. It's wrong and it's fucked up. Nobody deserves to be harassed. To you, it might seem like it's just a tweet, it's just a post, it's just a comment. It's an opinion. So what harm can it really do to someone? Honestly, it can do things you won't, you can't even imagine. Words will always have power. And I don't care how many people say words only have power if you give it to them. There is only so much people can take, and when that limit is exceeded, you can't take. So yes, words have power. Nobody wants hate, nobody wants trolls. Nobody has ever said it's okay to harass someone. I think a lot of people actually forget that it is a criminal offence to harass, troll or bully someone using the internet. In the UK that is referred to as malicious communications. People will never accept you if all you do is bully and harass people. You have an entire account that you use literally to hurt or abuse. The only thing that shows what kind of person you really are is that you are a bully you are obsessed and you need help you need to stop harassing people who have asked you very simply to leave them alone every hate tweet you post every ill-informed tweet you make and if you can't see that you really do need help you can't justify hate and harassment by saying it's just an opinion because it's not. You know exactly what you're doing. If someone blocks you or someone's asked you to stop but you decide to carry on, that's beyond an opinion. That's targeted harassment. If you continuously beat someone down, how can you expect them to be okay? If you're harassing someone to the point where they want to end their life or to a point where they've had to change their usernames to get away, when they have to get the police involved because you fear for your life, you are the one in the wrong. If you don't like someone, unfollow them, block them, mute them, move on. You don't have to sit behind your little keyboard typing about every little tweet they make, everything they post on social media. Just move on. You do not know. You have no idea what your comment is going to cause someone else to do. And when you spread hate, when you harass people, you have to take accountability for what your role in that. Not say, oh, like, what people doing it? Oh, well, not my problem. If you contribute to someone feeling like that, you have to take accountability. If you don't like someone, just move on. Because you have no idea what they have going on. Regard or victim. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, this video is a bit different. Obviously, I'm only introing now after you heard that first part. A lot of you guys know that for over a year now, I've been getting basically trolled by the same two, three people. And not honestly, they must lead very boring lives if they've got that much time to talk about me. I hardly have time to freaking sleep anymore. But it's been there's been a lot of things. The biggest thing I think with me was Twitter and Reddit. They are the two websites that literally made my life a living hell. And it still happens on Twitter. And I'm aware of it. I know that just because I block someone, but someone can very easily log out of their account and look at my account. Because I've got a public Twitter account. The hate that I got this year and last year has led to a few attempts on my life. And everyone's always like, oh, she's just BPD. She's going to run out of time, it's just something doesn't go her way. That's not how BPD works, and that's a very stigmatising thing to put out there. Quick little side tab. If I seem a bit like, ugh, a nurse, um, I started taking the matcha jeans today, and uh, I've been nearly falling asleep the entire day. And I've been working as well, so that's been fine. So, I'm on my mental health by medication, and I'm currently waiting for trauma therapy, which... I don't know that's going to be because, you know, the UK went into lockdown so a lot of things have been delayed by 
every diagnosis I have had has been formally diagnosed by a consultant psychiatrist and sometimes I have gone to get a second opinion through private psychiatrists. I am someone who is dead set against self-diagnosing. Some people differ in opinion, I just think it's dangerous. I think I focus too much on labelling rather than treating the symptoms that are presenting. If you're a viewer or a follower of a health related platform, so Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, I don't know what else there is, I don't use social media, I, I like Twitter and YouTube. As a mental health content creator, and I share my physical health too, I'm going to talk about my health and not a lot else. But in doing that, none of us are looking for attention or sympathy, we're just sharing our journeys. For me, it's more about sharing it. I find making videos are really therapeutic and I enjoy talking to you guys and it's genuinely something I enjoy doing it. We're not looking for attention and we're not faking it. Too many times, one troll in particular and this person knows exactly who they are and if you follow me on Twitter, you also know who this is. is pretty much obsessed at this point with everything I say and do <laughs> and they try to spin what I say as negativity and I have to laugh about it now but a year ago it literally nearly killed me. So this one, this one troll, one troll, one person is basically obsessed with a mental health condition known as Munchenhausen syndrome. Now there are two different types of this. There is Munchenhausen and then there is Munchenhausen by proxy which if you've ever heard of the Dee Dee and Gypsy Blanchard thing, you are not Munchenhausen by proxy is. Munchenhausen is when a person wants the attention from medical professionals. It's, it causes people to crave the attention. It, it's still a mental illness. I don't think it's anything that people should throw around as an insult because it is very real and it's devastating. The thing is, people like to throw it as an insult and people think anyone who talks about their health online is looking for attention that has this condition. There's an entire subreddit on... There's an entire subreddit literally called Illness Vapors and it just rips into what everyone's on that. I'm, I'm not here for that. I think it's so fucked up. I want to say that if you're experiencing trolling, bullying or being harassed by someone, report it file a police report, do whatever you have to do to make yourself feel safe because you have that right. You shouldn't have to leave a social media platform because of being trolled. You shouldn't have to change your username because people keep tagging you and, and trolling you and manipulating everything you're saying. So to people who actually want to know what I do take medication, I have made individual videos on all these medications and there is a playlist to that called Psych Meds. It's literally all about my medication. But I take quetiapine at 200 milligrams, lamotrigine 25, clonazepam 0.5 twice a day and then one milligram at night. I take venlafaxine extended release at 225 milligrams split into two so I take 150 in the morning and 75 at night. I also take zopiclone 7.5, clomiphazine at 50 milligrams and I do have some lorazepam which is PRN. Medication is not a one-size-fits-all. Medication works differently for different people. Some people can cope on one tablet, some people need loads and the combo of meds that I take works for me. That doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. My medication is reviewed every six weeks by my consultant who honestly first consultant I've ever had. The only thing I take though is no competition. I take these meds because I physically cannot cope when I'm off meds. I do also take physical health meds because I do have some physical health needs and that's separate to this. As a mental health YouTuber and as someone who talks about health on literally every social media platform, it's not for attention, it's to raise awareness and talk about these things that people are too afraid to go and talk about or if they want to learn more about medication that they are going to consider starting or bringing up their consultant. That's why I talk about it, I share my experience. I don't talk about therapy because I don't actually have that many good stories about therapy. Just because I talk openly about these things, that doesn't mean that someone has got the right to then go and hate on me all over social media saying that I'm a bad influence or telling me that I shouldn't take the combo of meds that I'm on or saying that no psychiatrist would prescribe that because I'm prescribed my meds. I'm not one of these people who's just going to try and buy off the street or, or on the internet or whatever. I 
literally get a week's worth of medication at a time, apart from the Lamotrigine, I get two weeks of that. Um, I, I have to get my prescriptions every week because it's constantly under review. I just wanted to quickly say that I have also just launched the July monthly mental health box. So to anyone who doesn't know, I do this monthly mental health box, I did June and on July. Both listings are still on Etsy along with t-shirts, stickers and other things. Again, that will be linked down below. And if you would like to support this channel further, by no means do you have to do this. There is a Patreon list, there is an Amazon wish list, there's, I believe, PayPal? I think? I, I don't know. My description is automatic. I don't know if I got something nice to get a thumbnail from.